Hey, drum stickers, eh? You can almost hear Santa Claus coming, eh? It's, it's almost here. Okay, Albert Iglesias Drumsticks on the channel, uh, a different pair of drumsticks every week, as you know. And, uh, okay, I'm gonna try to be shorter this week, okay? I promise. Uh, let's see if I can make it in, in 10 minutes. Um, this week, uh, what, to do that, let's go straight to, to the topic, eh? To drumsticks. Uh, this week, as you know, I've been trying, uh, I've been testing this model, which is a Big Fur 7, um, 7A, but with nylon tip, okay? 7A-N, it's called in Big Fur. But it's, th this episode is not about this specific drumstick, it's just about nylon tips, okay? I realized that I've been testing different models with nylon tip, with a more Hakim, a Promart model, and all that, and I've been doing comments around that, but um, I think it deserves its own episode, okay? I think it's a quite, it's one of the, um, um, I don't know if most important things, but one of the things that really can change the feel and the sound and all that of the, of the drumstick, so it deserves a, a, an episode. So, uh, but before starting, yeah, I, I'm, as always, I'm gonna show you the drumstick so you can have it a look and um, see what, uh, how it looks, and okay. That's, this is the 7AN from Big Fruit. Yeah. Okay, straight to the tip. Um, the first thing I want to mention, I want to talk about, is the sound. Okay, I think it's maybe one, of, may, probably the most important part of, of the nylon tip. Uh, okay, uh, first I'm gonna talk about symbols with uh, nylon tip. You, the first thing you're gonna notice is you're gonna get a brighter sound and when you hit to the right or, or a, a, any symbol you hit. It's gonna get you're gonna get an extra of of bright. Um, related to that, uh, I would say maybe with with that together goes a little bit of more definition too. Okay, this is uh, of course you are uh, now they are touching plastic material with with metal uh, material. So first the plastic is harder than the wood, so maybe that's why you get more definition it's you can hear really really well the stroke or the when when the, the symbol is uh, touching the symbol uh, sorry when the drumstick is touching the symbol and at the same time you get a brighter sound the that extra definition give you more pain and because of the surface is different the 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 sound you get with the plastic touches the metal is it's brighter so that's the main two things you're going to notice you you're going to see if you look in, in the end, you know, uh, you debate this and all that about uh, nylon tip, you, you know, you will realize it's the first thing that everybody's gonna say. Brighter sound in symbols, okay? An extra definition, a brighter sound, more pain and all that. Okay, that's for symbols. Now for drum heads, I would say that maybe with, um, with nylon tip is the first, uh, one of the first situations when I uh, think if you pay attention, you're gonna be able to notice any different in sound in the toms, for example, uh, you know I would say that I don't notice different with with the toms when I change from from different drumsticks, uh, apart from the volume and all that. But it's maybe sometimes the body of the hit, but not so much about the the type of sound you get. Okay, with nylon tips, if you pay attention, you I think you you're gonna be able to notice that. It's kind of you you can um, hear the, the, the plastic touching the surface. I mean, you have now impact the, the, the uh, plastic material is touching the, the, the miler of the, of the drum head. And it's like, you can hear that, that contact. So uh, for me, uh, with, with nylon tips, you get, you get more of that, more of the, of, uh, of the, the straw, more the articulation. Um, you can hear better that the, the the, the click, let's say like that, the click or the slap of the of the stroke, okay, apart from the rest, um, so you get an extra of that. Yeah. You have to pay attention, of course, but um, is the only maybe the first or the only situation when I think, okay, if I pay attention to this, I notice that difference, okay. Uh, and for both things, it's not a question of good or bad. This is not better or worse than the other situation. It's just a, something that you have to 
uh, consider. If you play with, in my case, for example, I play dry, um, um, you know, dry cymbals. Uh, so maybe using this, using a nylon tip, it's sometimes it's, it's good for me because I can get an extra of that ride that you don't get because of you are using dry cymbals. So in the, on the other side, if you play with a really bright uh, cymbals, maybe this is too much, it's gonna go too far and you're gonna too much ping or, you know, maybe you don't need that. So um, what is important for me is that you know that um, and you can, you know, take a decision and say, okay, maybe for this song or for these styles, I prefer nylon tip because it gives me that with my set of cymbals, I don't know, or with my drum heads or whatever. Okay, so that's about the sound. Okay, another aspect, the rebound. Well, this is that's something I, um, it's my personal opinion. I think that with nylon tip you get a little bit of extra uh, rebound, or or maybe it rebounds better because uh, maybe because the, the tip is harder. So I don't know. And the impact with the surface makes makes it rebound in a different way. I don't know, but I think I can get an extra rebound with nylon tips. Not completely sure of this, honestly. <laughs> it's just more a feeling that I get. Uh, but uh, of, course, of course, it depends on the shape and all that. But um, comparing to the same tip, uh, playing nylon and, and wood, I think I, you get a little bit of extra rebound with nylon tip. Um, okay, uh, uh, another thing, the durability. Very important thing. First thing, one of the coolest thing uh, of, of nylon tip I think it's that they maintain the shape during the whole life of, of the drumstick. I mean, you have to, you know, hit really, really hard, or maybe you play, I don't know, with uh, cobwebs or something that are gonna be able to, you know, make a deformation here or something, but you, usually when you play the normal way, um, with, uh, with a nylon tip, it's gonna maintain this shape. Which is, I think, is awesome because, as you know, it has the influence of the shape. When you play boot tips, after a while playing, the, the tip starts, you know, to break or maybe lose a part or maybe it gets flat. And in some of the, you know, uh, it, it it starts to deformate. Um, with nylon tip, it's gonna maintain this shape, uh, so you get an extra of consistency during the life of the of the drum of the drumstick so I pay attention to that too I think it's it's, it's awesome <laughs> that it has that and on the other side about durability I would say some people say that uh, you you have the risk that this this uh, nylon tip just fly away when you are playing just you lose the tip because when you know when it's just a plane or you play for a while, uh, maybe the glue starts to, to you know, lose its uh, properties, I don't know. But uh, some people say that have that problem and, and have suffered that problem. Okay, about that, I can say, I know that many companies use that process and they have the, 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 the drum, you know, the, the boot of the, the boot part of the drumstick, and then you have the tips and they, you just put it together with glue and all, all a similar process. Okay. What I can say about in that case, in this case, in this topic, uh, Big Fruit uses a different process. Apparently, they uh, they create the, the the drumstick first, the boot of uh, the boot part. They 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 put these drumsticks in a machine, and these machines just uh, closes and uh, creates the 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 tip around the drumstick. It's just like it, it blends the two materials. Okay, so. Uh, with that, they are trying precisely, I mean, they are trying to fight against that problem when you lose the tip. It's like they are trying to make the, the boot and, um, and the tip, and the, oh, sorry, and the nylon to be just, uh, to behave as a one unit. So I think it's cool. I don't know if any, uh, if other companies use that process. I'm sorry, I don't know that, that. but um, maybe it's gonna help you if you think you have that problem about the uh, durability. Uh, other as another, the last aspect about durability is the opposite side. I mean, uh, with nylon tips, they are really, really hard uh, uh, tips. So be careful with the drum heads. Uh, yeah, they're gonna eat your drum heads a little bit faster than nylon, that, sorry, than, than boot tip. Uh, 
I remember, I'm not saying this because of me, I remember Omar Hakim has a video talking about, well, Big Fifth in general, and especially about his own drumsticks. It's one of the things he said about his own drumsticks. Uh, it's that uh, they are uh, drum head sitters, so uh, at least pay attention to that too. Depends on the way you play on it. Well, just to end up, um, I, uh, well, about the shape, it's just the same idea that with wood tip, I mean, the relationship between different shapes in, in nylon is the same like in wood. I mean, about the surface contact, about the rebound, about the sound, or blah, blah, blah. All that is just the same like in, in uh, so nothing to say about that. Okay, okay. Uh, I, oh, in my case, I'm not a huge fan of nylon tip. I don't use it a lot. Uh, I prefer the, the 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 sound of of the boot touching the cymbals and the drum heads. But um, it's a good option. I think it's another option we have in our tool toolbox. So it's good. I think maybe it's good to have a pair of these. And then maybe in some specific situations you realize, oh, because of the way this place sounds and all that, I just, I need a little bit of, I need a brighter sound. So you get a pair of nylon tips and you're ready to go, okay? Cool, for the last week. Uh, I, think, I think that it's uh, time for me to, um, to recap on different comments and things that you've been telling me in, in YouTube or in, and the Facebook page and all that uh, about some specific model or about uh, something in, in, about something I've been talking about in a video or blah blah blah. So uh, for the next week, I, I, I think that uh, it's almost Christmas, so it's the day before Christmas. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about. Uh, I'm going to to put all that information together so um, you can. I, I'm pretty sure some well some of them are really really interesting. You're going to see. And at the same time, I want to use that episode too to like, like a Q and A episode. So if you have any question about uh, me or about drumsticks in general or about I don't know anything you want drumstick related, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to answer. Okay, but please, I'll do my best. But remember that I'm not an expert and I'm just learning like you. So uh, <laughs> I'll try to do my best. I promise. Okay, so take care, have a nice week, uh, keep practicing, and see you next Sunday, okay? Goodbye.